One. On this day a year ago, gunshots rang out inside a New Mexico high school, leaving two students dead. Students are reportedly in their first period. At Aztec High, when investigators say William Atchison hit in the bathroom before first shooting Francisco Paco Fernandez, then entering the hallway and shooting Casey Jordan Marquez. The gunman then went on a shooting spree. Terrified teens put on lockdown, hid beneath desks, and tried to barricade classroom doors, praying that they would not be next. Well, two words emerged from that horrific morning, Aztec Strong, and that's going to be what's on display today. Yeah, that's right. Today, teachers, students, and first responders will gather at Aztec High, remembering the two innocent lives taken. One teacher is giving us a glimpse inside the classroom that day through a book that she hopes will help prepare other teachers for a similar situation. Here's News 13's Sarah Yingling. On December 7, 2017, police say William Atchison entered Aztec High School around 8 in the morning, disguised as a student carrying a backpack. Inside the backpack, a gun with multiple magazines, ammunition storage, and feeding devices. Irene Berry was inside her classroom teaching language and composition when the gunshots rang out and the school went into lockdown. Uh, what turned in from 15 minutes to 8 hours before we were actually released. In that span of time, Barry and her 22 students were forced to stay in their classroom, unsure of what was actually going on. The students were very scared um, because social media was pumping out a lot of um, uh, incorrect information. And so uh, I just tried to keep them calm and let them know that I'd been through the active shooter training. Barry used that active shooter training for one particular incident, which she recalls in the book. We were told not on the radio um, to only open the door when the um, key was inserted inside the door. Well, when the sheriff's department came to my door, there was no key being inserted. And so they were hollering for me to open the door, and I just hollered back that they could not, we were not allowed to open the door. Recalling training like this and adding more examples of how to protect students throughout the book is what she believes should be done going forward. I think that in any tra tragedy such as this, that there's always room to grow. Plus, she believes sharing her personal experience is also what will make the book useful for teachers throughout the country and potentially save lives. If they read the book, they'll at least know one, one account of what happened that particular day and can take that and be prepared for their students in their classroom. And that was Sarah Yingling reporting. Barry's book can be found online on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, as well as bookstores in Durango. The anniversary memorial for Casey and Paco is set to start at 8 o'clock this morning.